guys will here welcome to the video so as you guys can see we are in las vegas we are heading down to the casinos to test our luck and roll the dice hopefully i do not bust too early so i love sin city because this is the place to confront yourself with all your darkest desires because literally anything is possible here so we are currently staying at the barrage hotel but i am banned from the barrage casinos so we're gonna go hit up caesar's palace and see uh how lucky we can get tonight Quick little pro tip, you only want to take out what you're willing to lose when you're at the casino. Anything beyond that, it's just not a good idea because I'm still paying those dues to this day, not in money. Uh, so we're playing blackjack tonight because I believe it's the best odds in the casino, 49 to 51. 51 is the dealer. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. And another tip, it's not the it's not the cards you're dealt, it's how you play the hand, right? I think it's a bit of both. So I'm feeling lucky, I'm gonna take 100 bones out and we'll see how much I can build that. It took me seven minutes and I busted, which is actually, it's a PR. It's a PR. So I mean like, honestly, what's the point of getting married? Well, you can just give all your money to the casino. So I just completely lost all my money except for $5. We're gonna put it into the machine right now and see if we can just turn this night around because it's going down pretty, pretty, pretty quick. <laughs> ah. I, know it, I made a sound, I don't know what that means. You want a dollar. I want a dollar. Oh, you want two dollars. I want two dollars. Okay. Vanilla. Pull it, go. Pull, pull it. it. Yeah, pull it. Do you want anything? No. How many times do you have to do it? Have a good try it? <laughs> Sick. That's why you don't bet, kids. I lost a hundred dollars too. I lost nothing. All right guys, so we're at a cute little Italian spot right now because you guys know me, whenever there's pizza, I'm gonna be there. But unfortunately, the pizza machine is broken. So we had to branch out and I got some chicken parm. But funny thing we have been doing since we got here is we've been saying to every restaurant that it is Kofi's birthday. So last night for dinner, we got a free shot and we got some dessert. So tonight we're gonna see what we get. Going in here, so I mean, they kind of they kind of chinched us on the, the pasta here. Do they? Yeah, but look at all the cheese. Yeah. I got penne. Mmm. I was upset that there was no pizza, but they delivered here. It really good. That sauce is like it's like talking to me. I love my food talks to me. Happy birthday, dear Kofi. That's like this guy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, God. Well, thank you. Oh, I have to blow the candle out. I yeah. forgot. That's what you do on your birthday. Does this taste like $5 to you guys? A lot of them. Mine was seven. Seven? So, yeah. I $5, and to me, wait. It tastes like Starbucks. Anyways, you should not come to Vegas if you're not prepared to pay for a rough ride. So we actually have something very exciting planned. We are going to the desert to do some dune buggies. And then you initial the bottom of all the rest should of I the pages. My, my real name or my Vegas name? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. fine with me. That shit is off the chain. Off the chain. <laughs> Y'all doing a four-seater and one driver for the whole ride? This is going to be so much fun. Man, you can let loose. I bet you will, William. I ain't worried about you. I already know you gonna do something. Ain't no doubt in my mind. I'm a mischievous boy. I got you. It's a lecture hall. Hi, 
right, so I'm Tony. Okay. Good to meet y'all. Uh, so basically, y'all are just gonna follow me out there, right? Yeah. Keep a safe distance. Okay. Um, there's gonna be big rocks, little rocks, stuff like that. Try to avoid the rocks. Okay. You don't wanna run them over with your tires, okay? okay? If you see a rock, try and put it down the center of the thing if you can't avoid it, all right? Okay. Okay, so everybody's gonna have seatbelts on. Yep. Um, and these lovely things also come with wrist restraints. Just on the event, you guys happen to roll this over. I'm used to having my wrist ties, it's all good. Oh, well, perfect. Yeah. A little bit of ass and them out here, we yeah. gotta go, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five more minutes, man. I would have like revisited my dinner last night. <laughs> oh my god! How could you go for more than half an hour? Uh, we go out farther. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That was sick, though. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> okay. You doing okay. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. back. <laughs> That was just, yeah, it was very She just nasty. needs a beer. She's yeah. good. Yeah, that'll right? fix it. It actually will. Yeah. 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 Well, when you leave here, you can go get a beer. Oh, if I need a donut, not a beer. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are characters. Yeah, we love you guys. I feel like I just shook hands with Pope. <laughs> you beauty, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. you, baby. Good anytime, job. yeah, anytime. Peace up. Take care, yeah. Thank you. Bye, yeah, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Usually after any sort of rough ride, I am rewarded with some donuts. So we are at Pinkbox Donuts for the post dune buggy meal. And this this place has crazy, crazy good reviews. And guys, we're going in with like the, so we went to the Habit Donuts in Denver. Go watch the video if you haven't. And that is the standard right now going to this place. It's very high standard, so let's see what they got. The table isn't small, we're just big. So we're gonna hop into a dozen donuts right now. Damn. Okay, so what do you guys want to start with? I feel like we need to go with the cronut. I have been searching yeah. like across the land for a cronut. So a cronut across the land. So a cronut is a hybrid. So it's not a purebred donut. It's a hybrid between a croissant and a donut 50-50 ratio. I don't know how we're doing. Wow, that's buttery. Yeah. That's oh my god. Sweet. Damn. I'm surprised by the butter. Yeah. Why don't we go on to this big Samoan? Yeah. I feel like this one's gonna give me a clue as to how the rock would taste. You know what I mean? Wow. Mmm. Wait, I like how the bottom has chocolate. Is there peanuts on that? It's a wonderful one. I think it's toasted coconut. I get a hint of peanut. No. You're not? Coconut. Which one do you wanna go next? Maybe s'more? S'mores? Okay. I want that hill after you can get to it. Yeah, I'm here to come in. Ew, you're like quivering. You're like shaking. Ew! Ew! Ew. Mm, I want that bite. Katie, I was like, I, you could go for that. This is can I make a statement right now? Sure. S'mores should just stay s'mores. They never can execute s'mores as something else. Do you guys agree with me? Comment down below. I think I think they can't. Holy cannoli? Let's do holy cannoli. Oh my god. Cannolis are the type of cream filling I always pray for. Why are you shake every time you bite? Okay. Is that amazing? There's a lot of components to that one that I'm in love with. That's good. That's a good one. That actually emulates a cannoli perfectly. Minus the I've never had a cannoli before. We're gonna go with that. Dirty twist? The dirty twist. Oh, it's so long, I feel so insecure. Floppy yet very tempting. It kind of looks like something I left back at home. You know no, I mean? you brought it. I brought it? Yeah. Are you serious? Was it my carry on bag? You look like it. I kind of like, I don't usually get these ones, but I like the shape because you don't have to think and rotate. Mm -hmm. You just make your way down the shaft. Do you think you could do the one bite? What? One bite? Like um, the eclair? Oh god, I can't do that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one. I have shit all over my hands. Oh, that one is good. That one is good. That one is good. Mm -hmm. That was a dark horse in the shelf, I would say. This was I all me. This was, was all me. So this one, what's this one called? The strawberry rose one? 
Strawberry Blonde. Strawberry Blonde, thank you. This is the one that she said was her favorite. And I don't know what's inside. I don't know what I'm gonna get. A blonde. Ooh, the strawberry jam. The jam fill. We got a jam pocket. What do you think about that one? She's not a, she's, you're not a straw, she's a chocolate girl. Yeah. Not a berry girl. Oh, I like this one. Let's do creme brulee. Creme brulee? We were just making our way through this dozen right now. Is it stuffed? Oh my god. It is. It's like popping out the bottom. Yeah. Do you I like the, the top. See the squeeze and the jiggle in her turn? Yeah. That's when you know they did a good job. They're like choking hazards, I love it. Next up, the apple pie or Key West? Mm, apple. Apple pie? I love the apple pie. Okay. Oh, there's actual apple pie. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. It kind of tastes like grandma. You know what I mean? Well. It's very comforting and warm. Grandma's never baked with an apple pie. It just reminds me of the taste, I don't know why. Key lime. Key lime? I think this one's going to invite all of the tang. Yep. Tangies? Yeah, it's tang. Tangation. What does that mean? Very intense flavor. Tart? Mm -hmm, very tart. And then last but not least, we have another Krona with a blueberry topping. It's a bit, it's a bit. It tastes a bit medicinal. So. No, that's beautiful. Most people tell me that before I bite it. Very medicinal. Which that isn't one necessarily is a bad thing. The best so far. So the girls are at the pool right now, but we are headed to the gym because fitness, it's a priority. So I'm actually pretty fired up right now because it's really easy to find some good pre-workout around here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I approach a very quick hotel workout, and we're gonna be training some shoulders and arms. Okay, so usually for me, a quick workout involves a lot of supersets, except for the first exercise. So for the first exercise, I'll usually just pick a compound loop and go as heavy as you know the gym will allow me to go. So usually most hotel gyms have a Smith machine. So we're gonna start off with behind the next Smith press, and then we're gonna move on to some more high volume supersets and be very mindful of the rest times. Okay, so we're gonna go 15, 12, 10, eight. Decrease the reps, increase the weight each set. So normally I would do a secondary press, but today we're just gonna keep it short and quick. So we're doing one press, one lateral, and one rear delt exercise. So we're doing standing lateral raise, three sets, 12 to 15. Super set with incline demo curls, three sets, 12 to 15. on 60 second rest. We're gonna do it again, three sets. Oh man. Doing the laterals before the curls make the curls so much harder. Oh my god. Okay, so that was a lateral raise and incline curl superset. So usually when the volume is less, you can push it to failure way more often. So every single set that I'm doing, I'm going to pretty much failure. So now we're moving on to the last superset of the day, which is gonna be some seated face pulls, superset with some French press, three sets again, 12 to 15 reps. Rest, 
So these workouts are not so much about the volume and the variation, but rather finding the exercises that you find to be the most effective for you. So everything I've been doing today, I have found to be the best for each muscle group, in my opinion, over my years of training. So I've noticed for myself behind the neck press really works, the incline curl works with the arms and overhead, the long head of the tricep, really develops all those muscle groups with not that much volume. So when you come to the gym, you don't have that much time, pick a few things that are your favorite and just come in and crush it. thing we're going to do is seated shoulder press or rest pause. So rest pause is a great way to get in a lot of volume with a little amount of time. We're really going to capitalize on the effective reps. So uh, what we're going to do is 12 to 15 reps pretty much till failure. Then you're going to rest the weight for 10 seconds, bang out three to five more, rest 10 seconds, three to five more, around four mini sets, four to five mini sets. And that is going to be the workout. It hasn't even been 35 minutes. Very effective shoulder and arm workout. Seconds, three to five reps. Out. Again, 35 minutes in and out. So we're headed to the pool, grab ourselves a drink, and enjoy the rest of the day. Time to refuel those glycogen stores with an unnecessary amount of carbs and sugar in the form of alcohol. So my favorite drink is the pina colada. First round's on me, and it's gonna be delicious. It's way too hot out here, man. We're gonna get Victoria all messed up. We're gonna get her an extra shot in her drink. She has no idea. $56 for three drinks. Okay, so we got the three drinks. We're gonna bring this one to Victoria and see her reaction. She doesn't know there's an extra shot. Cheers. Why is that so strong? What do you mean? I mean, this is like not my first drink today, but it's the strongest one. I wonder what that could be. Okay. So, do you know what? Calories, carbs, sugar, probably don't wanna know, but guys, it's okay because if you stick to the protein, during the day, low in fat, you can make room for stuff like this. And I still have a lot of calories for dinner. And it's gonna Ew. be delicious, and I'll see you guys Ew. then. This is the wholesome content we all needed. Yeah. What is, what is happening? What, what is yeah, happening why, here? Where is your head, what, boy? Where, where, what is happening here? All right, so for the main course, we've got a kale cob salad here, added some steak. So the dressing is cashew ranch, which is pretty interesting to me. It's kind of like a vegan, a very vegan-y restaurant. You have to give that a taste. And there's also, bacon? yeah, coconut bacon inside. So we're gonna try that. So we got the coconut bacon here, which kind of looks a bit like fish food. Does it taste like fish food? No. Does it taste good? You know, I know when you're when you're vegan, you're doing good for the for the, like, the environment and the animals, but you gotta miss the flavor. It tastes like a very a very like simulated porkiness. Cashews are a wonderful little nut. What do you think? It it's good. Good. It's, it's a good. very simulated pig. Good. Another like ten. Three, two, one. Six. Six. I would agree. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dinner was good. It's definitely going to be one of those kind of nights where I'm going to have to pick up something a little bit later on, but it's actually pretty good to go to bed with a little bit of an appetite. So we're going to hit up the casino now, and I'm going to wrap up the video here. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.